Do you ever tremble in fear as your foot hangs over your bed, taunting the darkness to grab it? Do you really think your blankets will save you? <laughs> I call the story from Raven's Tales, Watcher in the Rain. One stormy night, Beverly and Bonnie play Watcher in the Rain. You turn off the lights, light a candle, and look at the window pane. If you concentrate hard enough, you should see a ghost. It was the 1940s, and the sisters played this game more than once. Bonnie, being younger, would have nightmares she just couldn't stand. She would jump on Beverly's bed and squeeze her sister's hand. Sometimes holding on so tight with a fearsome grip, it was happening every night, so Beverly offered her sister a tip. She said, Bonnie, if you're so scared, why do you play? Bonnie replied, but I've only been scared once, and it was on the first day. But you calmed me down and said it was only make-believe. Why is there another game you have up your sleeve? Beverly looked puzzled. Haven't you been in my room each night? Gripping my hand extremely tight? You taught me a song to make you feel safe. Beverly started to feel scared when she seen confusion on her sister's face. Uh, no. What was the song? Bonnie was hesitant to ask. She knew her sister liked to scare her, and she had won that task. Hold me tight. Keep me warm. Keep me safe from the devil's harm. It's cold down here, damp and dark. Sit by a candle and strike the spark. If you leave me, I will follow. I see the words of the spirits follow. I've been saying that over and over. Beverly's eyes how large they grew. At that instant, she realized Watcher in the Rain was real and true. Months later, Beverly still lived in fright for the entity visit each day and night. If she doesn't recite the poem, the spirit gets quite upset. It squeezed her hand with so much force, it had to be reset. People were pushed and pulled, scratches so bad the flesh was torn. But no one believed sweet Beverly, she was truly scorned. Furniture would move, and sharp items would fly, one time hard enough to damage Bonnie's right eye. <laughs> They were both rushed to the hospital, separate ones, you see. One for medical care, the other disturbed and mentally. There, poor Beverly lived out the rest of her years, each night dealing with her greatest fears. Left alone without help or knowledge or understanding, drugged, restrained, electrified, and brandy. She had an unwanted guest. But everyone thought she was insane. On Beverly's deathbed, her last words never play. If you like watching me, gruesome Gracie speak, a video is uploaded every other week. If you like listening to a whining scare, then click the like, subscribe, and share. <laughs>